Hey guys, today I'm cheating a bit with my face routine because it's my day off and I don't care, but I have to go to the grocery store and um, I'm going to show this horror show to you guys and I hate it because it's really just like, they're not raised, they're just like leftover marks. So I'm going to do a little bit of a foundation trick, like just a quick little how to cover some shit up so you can go to the grocery store. So, I'm going to start with my... Look at guys, no hands. I'm using the tripod. It's in my sink, just so you know. We're in my kitchen area. But anyway. So, you're going to start out with a damp beauty blender. And then you're going to take some setting spray. Again, I'm using my DIY setting spray, but any spray setting spray you have is, is fine. And you just... Spritz the, the shit out of that so it's moist. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so then you take your foundation of choice. I'm going to put it right on my hand. I'm going to dip it right into the foundation. And then I'm going to go right into my face. And do you see how it's already, like, covering it? I mean, yes. You know, the foundation is helping, obviously. But the setting spray really helps to give it that extra layer of, like, protection and, like, stickage ability. So when I go and set this with um, powder, it's, it's going to look even more flat. But it's really that simple to do. And, uh... I, I picked here because, like, there's a light, so I'm, like, trying to show you. So, obviously, you know, I can still see the marks, but, like, I had nothing on my face. I had no concealer, no primer. I'm not going to fucking waste my shit to go to the grocery store. So, imagine if I did put those things. Um, so, it's just a quick little tip, and uh, I think it really helps. And it's not like you can only use it for pimples. You can use it every day. I just thought it was a great time to pull it out. But, like, look. Do you see how much coverage I'm getting? Like, I haven't reapplied anything. Um, I'll probably go in with one more layer, but uh, there you go. All right, guys, so this is with two, two layers, and then I did some contour layer. But I'm gonna go in, just kind of blend it out, and I wanted to talk about the foundation that I'm using. And it's not with me, because I didn't bring it, but it's not the brand that I want to talk about. The foundation is for like, um, wrinkly skin. There's no way to say it. It's old people foundation. Um, and it's got all the retinol and the vitamins and the lifting and that's all fine and dandy. But that is great to cover pimples because it helps with all the dry skin and it helps get into those bits that we talked about last time that I get in with a brush. Because wrinkles are bits. They're, they're crevices in the face. I have them too. Um, so it's, it kind of works the same way. So if you're having some problem skin, I suggest getting some anti-aging foundation. Okay. Well... I'm going to set this with powder and then I'm going to go. It's not going to be exciting, but I hope these tips, ooh, I got to blend, I got to blend my neck still. Um, but I hope these tips helped. Hope you use them. Well, I hope you don't have bad skin, but you know, I hope that somehow they pay off for you. So bye.